Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. A question came up, how do I get a reproducer off a Victor machine? Well, I'm going to show you. The gold piece here is the tone arm, and this is the yoke, and that's the reproducer. Sometimes these don't want to come off. Sometimes they come off freely. There's a little slot, L-shot. So what you do is you remove the needle, you let the machine run down, and you just grab the reproducer, and it turns, and you wiggle it off like that. And you can see this little slot system on the yoke here that hits the pin in here. That's how you get it off. And this little tag right here, you bend this up and down just a little bit to get it to go. Sometimes they get stuck on there or somebody's forced them. The other way to do this, if you're worried about breaking something, and sometimes I have to do this, is you need to disassemble the yoke from the tone arm. Victors have this slotted screw, or sometimes they have a regular screw head. You just take a nice screwdriver in here, and it just like undoes. And you want to get it loose a little, and then you will unscrew the end cap, which I call, which is there. And then there's a screw slot here. And then you just take the tone, hold the tone arm. That comes apart like that. And if it's stuck, now you can manhandle it to get it off. Sometimes, rarely, you will get it turned like this, and now it doesn't want to come off. And it's really a booger to get them off. You might have to have somebody hold on to the, the yoke and you pull, okay, I got it apart. But that's how you do it to get them apart. You don't want to damage this because all this back here can break. This is the tone arm. This is the tone arm bracket that holds it in place. And there are ball bearings in here. This is a very easy thing, but it gets a little complicated sometimes, and that's my tip for the day.